Governor Gina Raimondo making an historic announcement today with her six judicial nominations for various Rhode Island courts. Among them, two women, one of whom is the first person of color to ever be nominated to the Supreme Court. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a law professor about what this could mean for the state's judicial system. She joins us now with a story. Anita. Shannon and Kim, diversifying the bench is something Governor Gina Raimondo said was a priority, and her nominees reflect that. Two women chosen for the Supreme Court would be the newest appointments to that court in 10 years. Rhode Island's first female governor paves the way for the first female majority on the state's highest court. I have the chills just talking about it. It's a, it's a moment of change for Rhode Island. Six nominees were announced Tuesday. Among them, two women to fill vacancies on the Supreme Court. Current State Senator Erin Lynch Prada and Superior Court Associate Justice Melissa Long. Other picks include Linda Rakes Sloan, who would be the first Asian American to serve on the Superior Court, and Elizabeth Ortiz, the first Latina who would serve the state's family court. It's a generation change on the bench. It's an equity, bold statement. The dean at Roger Williams University School of Law says diversifying the bench is long overdue. The legal profession is supposed to serve the public and to serve the public effectively. We need to look like the public. We need to represent them. Senator Lynch Prada's nomination is drawing criticism. The state's Republican Party and a government watchdog group are pointing to the revolving door statute that prevents sitting legislators from getting appointed to judgeships, though the Ethics Commission didn't object to Lynch Prada's potential nomination. Now, at least, um, we have a precedent where somebody sort of went through the revolving door onto the Supreme Court, and I would expect you know, that others will try to follow that precedent. Now, the General Assembly will vote on the nominees for Supreme Court. The others are voted on by just the Senate. The House Judiciary Committee plans to meet Monday to consider the two Supreme Court picks. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.